Uh, the funny thing is, uh, this big fill back here, this back here that they cut down for hail. I don't know if I showed you this, but there's a giant fill back here. It's probably like, probably close to 20, 30 acres back here, this big field. And they actually offered it to my, hello, welcome back to my channel. Today is the, 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 the Tuesday, something. I don't even know what day it is. I think it's Tuesday or Wednesday. One of the, I think it's, oh, it's Tuesday because I just live streamed yesterday. So it's Tuesday because I'm a live stream Mondays now. Had a blast live streaming GTA last night. Uh, next week we'll go play Red Dead on that day, maybe. Or maybe GTA again, I'm not sure. But uh, anyways, God, it is it's really nice today. Look at this. It's super nice outside. It's not too hot, not too cold. It's sunny. It feels, it, this is like the kind of weather that is awesome where we live. It's like right before it gets to fall slash spring. It's either like right at tail end of spring where it's not too hot and it's not too cold. And it's right at the beginning of fall where it's not, it's like, nice 75 degrees for like a month and then it gets colder or then it gets hot which it has in the springtime in the springtime it'll get you get like a few weeks of like good weather and it'll get really hot and then in the in the fall you get a few weeks of where it's uh warm and it'll get really cold so we have like a month here where it's gonna stay like this for a while but it's pretty cool anyways guys i guess i'll talk to you guys in a few months because the day starts so bye right, guys i'm back I uh, just want to tell you guys, to remember to like, subscribe, and click the bell, especially bell. It really triple. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. So bye, guys. I'm back. I can't wait till a weeder comes out so I can actually chop down all this. I think I'm going to do a day of the garden. Now we need to order seeds, though. We need to order cover crop. We're going to order uh, winter rye, triticale, hairy vetch. I think those three might be it. I might, I might also get a couple of, like, a pound or ish of... Uh, no, I think that'll be fine because all those will die when you come down and then yeah and then in the summer next spring we will just uh I'm also going to expand this garden out like down to here so I don't have to mow through here next year because it was a pain in the butt coming through the lawnmower I'm just going to, I don't know why we put it like here I actually mowed some of the garden down already when I came through the lawnmower but instead of going through the lawnmower I'm just going to put the garden out to here right like right here I don't know why we didn't put it right up against this so I didn't have to mow through there but yeah and then we'll pull put another garden here we'll have three plus next year and hopefully uh, yeah, and the idea is, is, uh, in the spring, either we're gonna dig it up again, I don't really wanna dig it up, I wanna just cut down the lawnmower and tarp it, like, three weeks before frost, or, yeah, I don't know, what we'll to have issues with it, but yeah, there is one thing I wanna dig up in here first, before I do any, try to mow this down, one, I'm not gonna cut down the flowers, I'm gonna come through with the weed here, weed all this down, I'm gonna rake it off, and then I'm going to put in a wool bar and compost down all these weeds, and yeah, might as well, we need a biomass anyways, yeah, here was a, here was a, uh, squash and i mowed it down we had bad luck this year girl. we had no squash no sunflowers usually these are things that grow like crazy we had none of them and i have no idea what happened uh we did have good flowers this year though look at these flowers are pretty cool look at them i actually cut some of these put them in the house a few weeks back or a couple weeks ago or a couple days ago there we go so yay uh this garden is wonky this garden which is overtaken by grass because you know new year grass uh, and it was really hard to dig in. So hopefully when I plant rye in it and uh, other stuff, it'll loosen it up a little bit. Because rye does a really good job of loosening the soil. Plus it'll be the second time I dug it up. And the idea of playing, making a new plot and not planting anything in it, it's just, and then cover cropping, is one, it'll add a bunch of mom to the soil. So when we do plant it in the spring, it'll be uh, bioavailable to the plants. Because all that nitrogen stuff will come right out of the soil. I mean, nothing's in plant. By the way, guys, if you didn't know, all this used to be dug up for garden back in the day when my... Dad was a kid, so my grandparents did it, and great grandparents, heck, my great par great parents, my great grandparents had all that dug up in the fields and stuff. They had all that, and they had cows up there on the other field. And this was like the garden back here. They had a horse or two, you know, because they had to have horses back. My great, my dad, my dad says his, my dad said his dad told him, my grandpa told him that he used to remember riding a horse and buggy. That's how old. <laughs> that's how far back. So my great grandparents, they was like super farmers. They was like, yeah. Heck, my grandpa, my grandparents didn't even have electricity most of their life. They didn't get electricity until like the 50s, and they was already like, gee whiz. Well, I don't know. My, they probably didn't get electricity until he was like in his 30s. So my grandpa, they was like, didn't even have electricity. He used to go to school in a horse and buggy, so I don't know. Or was my, I think my great-grandparents lived through the Great Depression, so. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. My dad knows all about this. He can tell me more about it. But it's pretty cool to think about. Anyways. Uh, the funny thing is, uh, this big fill back here. 
this back here that they cut down for hail. I don't know if I showed you this, but there's a giant fill back here. It's probably like probably close to 20 30 acres back here this big field and they actually offered it to my grandpa when he was younger when they had a bunch of kids because he had like my dad had like four brothers i think yeah okay yeah duh <laughs> he had like four or five kids i can't remember but uh they offered him to buy they get the money he offered to buy it for 20 bucks and he couldn't afford it and nowadays that worth that's probably worth like probably up uh, 60 grand maybe 80 grand something like that it's ridiculous how much that's probably worth and there's a cat here. Okay, which... Meow! Uh, meow! I didn't even know that cat was even there. He meows like crazy. Anyways! It's nice out today. I can, nowadays I can... Yeah, I think I'm going to spend a day fixing the garden, digging up, and then I need to order cover crop seeds soon. Or I might spend a day cutting the grass. I'm not sure what I want to do first. I wonder what you want to call the... All the brush down first, or I want to cut the garden down first. Probably the garden, because the garden is really good. And the longer I wait, the more seeds are falling in the garden. That's why I want to rake it off for it. I know when I cut, the seeds are going to fall anyways. But if I can rake off most of the seeds, which I know most of them probably won't. But if I can at least get the biomass away from it, so the seeds don't drop in the garden. I know when I hit it with the weed, it's going to fall down. The seeds are going to fall over. But the idea is, a lot of the seeds will be raked off and then composted down. They won't be able to come back. So hopefully, that's the plan. I'm going to cut it. And then I'm going to rake it off. And then I'm probably going to hit it with the lawnmower on the lowest setting. So it's not it's just like this. So it looks like this. And then probably going to go from there. I don't know. It's going to be complicated. I'm probably going to spend a day just fixing the gardens up. I'm going to weed it, rake it off, compost, make a compost pile out of it. And then I'm probably going to, um, yeah. And then I'm probably going to mow it with the push mower. And then I'm probably going to hit it with the rotiller and then i'm probably going to hit it with cover crop seeds hopefully like we should order cover crop seeds here soon like as soon as we get the weed here i'm going to probably do that so we should probably order seeds now i think we're going to do uh vetch hairy vetch winter rye and triticale we might do uh 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 what do you call it oh i can't think of a word we might do peas but eh, i don't know i don't know but hairy vetch rye and those things are do pretty good hairy vetch fixes a bunch of nitrogen i don't like clover anymore because clover is a pain in the butt to get rid of you have to the only way you really get rid of clover is to dig up i don't want to really dig up i want to get a tarp in the spring and like a 30 by 40 foot tarp and then just tarp it cut it down because if you get tarp you can literally just mow with the lawnmower when it gets like when you get ready to plant like well not when you're ready to plant but a while before you want to plant around because it's not it's gonna take longer in the in the spring time to actually get the salt the stuff to die if you tarp it so we have to tarp it like probably a month before spring so probably like February-ish. We probably have to type it in like February, which might even still have snow. We'll probably have to find it if there's no snow. Come out here, mow it, type it in February, and then March, it, sh it should be good to go. That would be the best way to do it. I don't know. Still thinking, we don't even have tarp yet, and tarps are expensive. It's like 160 bucks for a good 30 by 40 foot tarp, which is insane. Right, kitty cat? Right, kitty cat? Kitty, 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 kitty cat? I just gotta get the road tile running, because that's a big thing. It... Don't, we don't, I don't really like the rotator because it's like a front rotator and it's like a, it's a yard machine, so it's a pretty wonky one. It's, like, it's not like the best one, but it used to dig up the garden, and it used, the garden used to be bigger than that when we dug it up. It used to be, we actually used to dig up the garden up to here, I think, where I'm standing, when we had a larger garden. So it should definitely dig that up, I hope. It should. I don't know what the, we'll just see what happens. I don't know. It should dig it up. Don't know how it's going to act on the new garden plot because if it hits like hard stuff, it'll, it'll fly up and bounce off. It's hard to control. It shakes you to death, too. That's the only thing I like about it. It really shakes you to death. And if it hits something under the ground, it pops up and flies out and flips over. It's really top-heavy. It's really weird. I haven't made it. Anyway, guys, enough about me talking about the garden again. Hopefully, here in the next couple days, you can actually watch me do it. The weed is supposed to come Thursday-ish. Wednesday, Thursday. If it comes, I don't know when. Uh, that'll be cool. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, guys, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. So, bye, guys. I'm back. Uh, it's been a while since I've talked to you guys. It's now dark time. Dark time. Dark time. It's the dark days, kitty cat. It's night time. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. What? What about you, huh? What about you, huh? What about you? Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. Leave me alone. What? Oh, my goodness. Don't bite me. I'll bite you back. So let me sleep. <laughs> you gonna go to sleep? <laughs> yeah, she's just gonna go to sleep. Oh my goodness. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, go back to sleep. I won't touch you no more. 
Yeah, go back to sleepy town. I won't touch you no more. Uh, I don't know when, but soon we shall make the garden look nice again. And we will replant it with grass. Grass and grass and grass. Actually, I think I'm going to do uh, rye, uh, oats. Because different types of grasses and oats do different things for the soul. It adds different microbes to the soul. Because anytime a certain... You could do just rye, but it's really best to do a leaky concoction of like two to three. And you all you all you also need a nut you don't really need a nitrogen fixture, but it's best to have a nitrogen fixture along with your grains and grasses. Just because it's good for the soil, because it fixes nitrogen and when you when you kill it in the spring, however you do it, it'll uh, have little nodules on it and it'll slowly release into the soil over the growing season. And also if you have excess nitrogen, because this is a good thing if you also use uh um uh, uh most grasses Instead of fixing nitrogen, it'll actually capture it. Like, say you fertilize with, like, I don't know, uh, 6, triple 13, uh, 20, 20, 20, whatever you want to call it. That sort of stuff. And you use too much of it and the plant can't take it up. Instead of, whenever it rains, it'll actually be washed downstream away from your garden. But if you use a lot of it and the plants, you plant a, a cover crop, it'll actually suck all that up. And it'll store in the plants. And then when you mow it down or kill it in the spring, it'll slowly release back into the soil that way. So, both ways, you're catching all the nitrogen. And also, uh... Grasses have really fibrous roots. They go down, they break up the soil and break it apart and make it easier the, for uh, to get nutrients. You don't have to really... Yeah, and then it, it makes it more porous and water seeps in better. It's also living roots in the wintertime. Anything that's in your garden that's green in the winter is actually still alive. Technically, grass is alive through the winter, but even under snow, it does a lot of good stuff. It's, it's really good to have just green in your garden all winter long. It's really bad. Like, the big companies, like the big, big farms, they literally just dig it up and they spray it like every couple weeks with like stuff that kills everything and they keep it bare all winter long like why why not just plant a cover crop in it let it grow up and then dig it up in the spring you guys got the giant equipment to do it at least that way you're at least building soil a little bit and then they don't even like all the excess nitrogen and the phosphorus they have it just runs right off and they gotta add more next year and it's just terrible for your, your soil and the earth and everything around it's ridiculous how we farm food <laughs> with chemicals because they get chemical is the best thing ever no it's not chemicals Chemicals are really bad for you. Like, naturally, what the process is, you're supposed to have the roots... You're not even supposed to fertilize. Basically, uh, if you use manure, because back in the old days, you used to use manure, but now you can use compost manure or whatever. Some people don't like using manure because it can have uh, bacteria on it. It can make you sick, obviously. But uh, if you compost down, all the bacteria is dead. But basically, what it does is it, uh, when your roots... When you plant something in the garden, it sends out roots, and the roots send out sugar into the soil, and the sugar tells bacteria, hey, we'll give you sugar for whatever we need and the bacteria will go harvest that and then give it to the plant roots and then the plant will grow that's how it is with basically and then and then same thing with the fungi fungi because certain things you can't get through bacteria so the fungi comes in it's like hey we need fungus and it'll be like we need this this and this i think most of the if I'm, don't quote me on this one i'm not entirely sure exactly how it works but i'm pretty sure like the big like the trace minerals are mostly distributed through fungi and then like the big in pink K is mostly bacteria. I'm pretty sure, but I'm not entirely sure. But you can all you always tell what kind of what your soul needs. You guys do a soil test, which is the best thing to do. Or you can just most plants will tell you what they're lacking. And the soil also, another thing is what kind of weeds grow in your garden can tell you what you're missing because nature's like, hey, we need calcium in the soil, because calcium is a trace mineral. It'll grow a bunch of dandelions. Or actually dandelions is a source of calcium or it could be compaction. Soil compaction, because you need you actually need a mixture of like twenty five 25 and 25 of like i think that's the thing or it's like air water and dirt you need a mixture you actually need a lot of air in your soil to make it fluffy for the roots to actually get air because it's weird roots need air it's really weird to think about but if you're digging like little rocks or whatever yeah you're not gonna dig much but uh soil science is called i should go to school for soil soil i can't talk should go to school for soil science <laughs> but can they be like just use chemicals there are chemicals everywhere they don't really care about the whole whatever how to i mean they, they care how it works but they don't care how nature does it. It's weird. That's why forces have like a forcey smell. Because literally like the leaves will fall. It'll make like a covering. And then the covering slowly gets eaten by the microbes on top. And it eats. And yeah. And plus uh, plant uh, tree roots that go way down. And pick up all the nutrients and stuff. That's why eating tree nuts is really good for you. Or a sort of nut. Because nut trees have really long roots. And they suck up all the minerals underneath. And they bring it back to the surface. So And also it's all when like trees fall down. They break limbs. They, their limbs will fall down. That's why using leaves... It's really good for and wood chips is good for your garden too because it has all them trace minerals and everything in it because it the tree brings up from the ground. But rye and certain uh cover crops do the same thing. 
So, yeah, also, it holds the soil down in place, which is another good thing. It also uh, holds compaction. It also releases, like, it helps fungi throw through and different bacteria. It's really good for your stuff. But, uh, anyway, guys, enough of me talking about the garden. Probably we'll talk way more about this. I actually have to go dig it up here in a few days. Probably this weekend, maybe, if everything comes by then. But, yeah, anyway, guys, I'll talk to you guys a little bit. Oh, hey, guys, I'm back. Good vlog. Did not do a lot today. Mostly just talked about the garden again, which is all I've been thinking about because I want to get it looking nice. Not really looking nice. I want to get tilled up and ready for next year because this year was a disaster area. We got like very few potatoes. We got this is our measly. Actually, I didn't show you guys. This is our measly pepper harvest. I was wanting to. I was wanting to dehydrate all this food and had it planned. We got this big dehydrator. We got to dehydrate all this food. We didn't get any none of the dehydrates. Terrible. But anyways, another year is another year. <laughs> next year is another year, right? Hopefully next year we can do a lot better because I got better plans next year. I want to really get a tarp, try a tarp method. The, the whole just cutting down grass because we'd use clover because clover thooks. But uh, we didn't have clover. It would have done a lot better, I think, because clover doesn't get killed when you cut it because it just grows and grows. Anyways, guys, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. So we'll roll the